Most of the time, if we see a cute animal, we'll stop to bend down and stroke it. But unlike our neighborhood cats or dogs, not all animals are so happy to see us humans. Today we're showing you 10 cute animals that are actually super dangerous. Instead of using your hand to pet one of these dangerous animals, use it for something we guarantee will be fun. Click the red subscribe button below and you'll get to watch all of our great videos. Polar Bears they may look cute and cuddly, but you wouldn't want to get too close to a polar bear. In fact, the only place it's safe to go near one is in the zoo. But while polar bears used to be happy in their own environment, global warming has started to have a massive impact on their homes, and so they're edging closer and closer to civilization. And they're not happy about it either. The loss of their food means more often than not, these polar bears are pretty hungry, which doesn't make for a good story when an overconfident human gets too close. The stressed bears are more likely to attack if humans get closer than is necessary. Between 1870 and 2014, there were 73 three cases of polar bears attacking a group of people or an individual, with 63 people injured and 20 people killed. Researchers who looked into the attacks found that 61% of the bears were in below average condition. This means that they were lacking food, and their time spent on sea ice was dwindling. It's thought the amount of bear attacks should die down as they become used to humans and supplement their diet of seals with goose eggs and caribou. But we'll have to wait and see. Giant Panda You've probably seen photos of people cuddling baby pandas looking all cute and innocent, but make no mistake, you definitely wouldn't want to keep a giant panda as a pet, and the babies only stay cute and small for so long. We have to remember that pandas are bears and have the build to match. Their canine teeth and claws are well developed for aggression, and they have the potential to inflict a lot of damage with their limbs and jaws. Sure, it's rare for giant pandas to attack people, but that might be because there aren't that many instances when their paths cross. But it has happened a few times. Once, a man in Beijing Zoo decided to jump into the panda enclosure. When the panda started to attack him, the man stupidly fought back. It's probably the only story you'll hear of where a panda bites a man and he reacted by biting the panda back. We know who we'd back in that particular fight. Predictably, the man ended up in the hospital with blood-soaked bandages and a whole seam of stitches running down one leg. It certainly wasn't worth trying to get a quick cuddle in. Well, just don't say we didn't warn you. Slow Loris have you ever seen a creature that's cuter than the slow loris? With its huge lovable eyes and adorable manner, it's definitely one we'd have to think twice about not stroking if we were to encounter it. But the slow loris is one of the most dangerous creatures you could come across, but perhaps not for the reason you'd expect. Because of course, the cuteness of the animal means it wouldn't attack you with its bare hands. It's smarter than that. The slow loris instead uses the toxic glands on its elbows to fight off any potential predators. The toxins only affect humans if they happen to be allergic to it. So there's a chance you could stroke the slow loris and make off without any any injuries, but it might not be a risk you'd want to take. The creature also cleans itself with its venom as a chemical defense in order to give its fur a nasty taste for any unwelcome visitors. If that wasn't enough, the slow loris is also known to give off a hissing noise similar to a snake if it feels attacked. The fact it slithers around in a similar manner means we might give this adorable creature a miss after all. Dingoes You'll only come across a dingo if you visit Australia, where they lived for around 3,000 years. It's thought they descended from a domestic dog brought over from Indonesia, but that's where the similarities to our favorite household pet ends. Technically, dingoes aren't that crazy an animal, but they have the potential to cause a lot of damage if you get their back up. When confronted, most dingoes will prefer to run away instead of attacking. No one has doubted that they're unpredictable, but they have the potential to be shy and inquisitive instead of overbearing and cruel, like many wild animals. But the problem lies when people approach a dingo thinking it'll react just like any household dog. There have only ever been a handful of attacks on humans by dingoes in comparison to most Australian animals, but a few of them have resulted in deaths. These grown-up puppies aren't quite as civil as we once thought, it seems. 98 attacks have happened since 2002, and there were two high-profile attacks before this, including one nine-year-old boy who was mauled to death. It's thought when the dog gene is dominant in the creature, it's more likely to be aggressive, although no one can predict how this will change with evolution. Wolverine it may look like a cute little bear, but the wolverine has the potential to kill animals more than 10 times its size. And while that list doesn't yet include humans, we definitely wouldn't want to take the chance. The wolverine lives on the sparsely populated fringes of the Arctic Circle, so you'd have to travel pretty far in order to interact with one. It's the largest member of the weasel family and can weigh up to 75 pounds. This makes it about the same size as a large pit bull dog, but with more energy and power. Their short, stocky body has the ability to move logs that would take two humans to lift. Sometimes, what really makes us want to stay well away from the Wolverine is the fact that they're known as the hyenas of the north due to the fact that their jaws can crack bones. It's an important evolutionary feature because most of their diet is frozen meat, but it's not something we'd want to fight with. And don't even think about trying to run away from this creature on the ice, because while us humans would slip and slide, the Wolverine has specialized five-toed webbed paws which lets it run across the snow and ice as if it was wearing expensive snowshoes. Leopard Seals 
Seals might look cute and friendly, but the leopard seal is one to avoid. They're so dangerous, in fact, that they rank alongside killer whales as Antarctica's top predator. Their name comes from their spotted coats and fearsome jaws, which together with their large heads and streamlined bodies, make them the perfect animal for targeting any number of prey. They can swim up to 25 miles an hour, and the females can grow up to 990 pounds. Their cheek teeth are serrated, giving them the power to capture different types of animals for a quick snack. And they'll eat anything from fish to penguins or even other seals. There's only been one attack by a leopard seal on a human, but it should be enough to put you off approaching one. In 2002, a British marine biologist called Kirsty Brown was dragged underwater by a leopard seal when she was snorkeling in Antarctica. To this day, no one can figure out why the seal decided to drag her down and refused to let her go. She tried to fight and eventually got free, but even after trying to resuscitate her for a half an hour, she didn't survive. Pufferfish. It might be reminiscent from one of our favorite Disney movies, but the pufferfish is one to avoid if you're swimming in the sea. Their clumsy way of swimming makes them seem more endearing than life-threatening, but these fish have got a few tricks up their sleeves to keep predators away. The pufferfish is known for, well, puffing up when it gets scared. It does this by ingesting a whole load of water, or even air if that's all that's around. But any predator unfortunate enough to swallow this fish before it manages to puff up hasn't gotten away with it. The real danger of the pufferfish is its toxicity. It contains enough tetrodotoxin to kill 30 humans, and there's no cure or antidote. This deadly chemical is around 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. Not only does it taste disgusting, but it's also lethal for most types of fish. Now you might be wondering just who in their right mind would eat a pufferfish knowing this, but in Japan, it's considered a delicacy. However, only the highest trained chefs are allowed to serve the dish because one bad cut has been known to kill people before. Swans. Did you know that every swan in England belongs to the queen? We didn't even consider keeping one as a pet before this, and after watching this video, you probably wouldn't want to own one anyway. Five years ago, in 2012, a man was killed in Chicago, where the swans are wild and free, when one of these dangerous birds charged at his kayak. Not only did it capsize, leaving him stuck in the water, but the swan also blocked the man from getting up and swimming to shore. Sadly, he died there and then. This wasn't the first time a swan attacked someone, because it seems to be quite a common thing for rowers, kayakers, and anglers. Swans are very aggressive, especially in springtime when it comes to defending their nests. Growing up to 28 pounds, they certainly have the potential to do some damage to anyone who gets too close. Occasionally, they've been known to break a human's arm with their neck. Although most swans aren't strong enough to do that much damage, most of the time, the swans will likely just flap its wings in order to keep you away from the water. But knowing these things makes us wonder why the queen is insistent on owning them all. Frogs. The whole reason the princess gets to kiss the frog is to prove that it's what's on the inside that matters. We don't know about you, but we think that frogs are pretty cute anyway. Admittedly, we wouldn't go out of our way to stroke one like we would a friendly dog or cat. But there's definitely something sweet about them when they're hopping around on their lily pads. But if you've been paying attention to this video, you'll know we're not here today to tell you about our favorite animals, but instead the ones that could do a lot of harm to us. And the golden poison frog, despite its gorgeous colors, is a perfect example of one such animal. The frog is considered to be one of the most toxic animals on Earth, which is probably why it got its namesake. Out of all the poison dart frog species, the golden is one of the larger ones, and it lives on a tiny plot of rainforest on the Pacific coast of Colombia. Something strange about the golden frog is that, if it's raised in captivity, it never becomes venomous. But those raised in the wild, in their normal habitat, have the ability to kill 10 people with their poison. Beavers in most stories, beavers spend their lives doing their thing and creating dams. They break apart wood with their big teeth and generally seem like sweet animals. But not all beavers are created equally, and some of them are more dangerous than others. Take the case of the fisherman who died in Belarus after he was attacked by a beaver. Innocently out on his boat, the beaver bit his leg and severed a major artery. He was rushed to the hospital and died later from blood loss, all thanks to this one beaver. He's thought to be the only person to die from a beaver attack, but there have been cases of beavers going after people before. They're not quite as sweet as we once thought. Most of the beavers that attacked are thought to be rabid. In Pennsylvania in 2011 and 2012, a number of beavers suffering from rabies attacked humans, leaving them with the dangerous condition until they could reach a hospital. It seems the only way people can fend off a beaver is to throw stones or another heavy item at them until it backs off. Even though they're technically rodents, they're the second largest rodent in the world and have the ability to cause a lot of harm. After watching this video, we might have to think twice before stroking that next cute animal we see. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Thanks!